This is your host, Tom, coming to you from beautiful Washtenaw County. And thank you for tuning into this video. Today, we are going to review Titanfall 2. Now, just about anybody who's ever played Titanfall 2 will tell you that it's one of the most underrated shooters that you are going to find. So, are there any real problems with Titanfall 2? Well, my biggest con with Titanfall 2 is the fact that it uses a Source Engine. The Source Engine is the same engine used in Half-Life 2 and in Portal 1 and 2. And those were great games, and the Source Engine was a great engine for its day. But, today it has a hard time holding up. Now, does that mean that Titanfall 2 has a hard time holding up to other shooters? No, not whatsoever. But... This game is held back by the fact that it uses the Source Engine. You may ask, how is this game held back? Well, draw distances aren't as good as they should be. Like, if this were a game using a modern engine, say the UE4, or the newest Cry Engine, or one of these other newfangled Frostbite-style engines, you're the draw distance would be much better. And that's one thing that holds this game back a little bit. Although the levels are pretty... The, the, the character models are pretty. The game does still look good, and it still does hold up. Although, when you're in some areas, it kind of looks like, especially the platforming areas, it kind of starts to remind you of Portal 2, which is a good game. I reviewed that game, but and this is a good game. But like I said, the old engine holds it back, and that is the only real problem. And I hope that with Titanfall 3, they move on to a more modern gaming engine. So, why is Titanfall 2 one of the most underrated shooters that you're going to find? Well, this game came out sandwiched between uh, a Battlefield 1 and a Call of Duty. And so, this game kind of got overlooked by a lot of people when it first came out. You can find this game um, at a really good price right now. But it's still a really fun game. Great shooting mechanics. Everything about the game works very well. And you'll enjoy it. It's probably better than the current Call of Duty and Battlefield 5, which I reviewed the latest Battlefield 5. I enjoyed Battlefield 5, but this is still a better game, arguably. Another real added plus of this game is that this game runs really good in Linux on Wine if you're using Vulkan. So that means you pretty much probably have to use an AMD Ryzen uh, processor. If you have a system like that, then it definitely, this is definitely a game that you want to put on your system and show people to. The graphics are beautiful. The gameplay is great. Now, the Source Engine does have native support for Linux, but for some reason this game, of course it's an EA title, never got native support for Linux itself. But the game can run, really run, runs really well in Wine. And also it's on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows PC. So if you have any of those, you can play this game. It's not on the Switch, and as far as I know, it's not on Mac OS. Also, this game is available on the EA Access Games Pass on Origin, Origin Access. So if you get this, you can, you can play this game for $15 a month, along with a slew of other AAA games. So it's a good deal there. Also, it's relatively inexpensive on the consoles. You can get it for a great price. Great game, awesome shooting mechanics, just a lot of fun. Getting in your mech is fun. It, the graphics are really good, especially for a Source Engine game. They did a really good job of the graphics. Like I said, draw distances are a problem a little bit. But other than that, the game is a great game, and you will enjoy every minute of it. I mean, it beats the crap out of any Black Ops 4 or any, any game like that. This is definitely a better game. So all in all, what do I give Titanfall 2? I'm giving Titanfall 2 an 8.5 out of 10. This is a great game that you should not miss. One of the best shooters this generation. Not the greatest shooter, but one of the best shooters this generation that you're going to get. So definitely pick up Titanfall 2. Available on EA Access, Xbox One, PlayStation 4. Thank you. And that's it. This is your host, Tom, signing off from 734 Games, where gaming is alive. Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot 
is the true dominant force. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive, resourceful, and relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. Titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force or an equal. The frontier has been the only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor.